Hello, my name is Victor Yu Pedrong, and I'm from Monte Sereno, California. I'm currently studying integrative biology at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. But this summer, I was presented with an opportunity from the Students' Conservation Association to work alongside the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service at a beautiful, beautiful place called Blackwater, located on the eastern shore of Maryland. Never before had I set foot on the eastern shore, and never before had I seen anything like it. I was captivated by the energy of my surroundings. The marshlands are really like a living entity, a nexus of breathing waterways and thriving life, a land truly sentient. Blackwater is a unique place in that it is such a biologically productive ecosystem that happens to lie on a rapidly changing bay. Erosion and the encroachment of sea level rise has contributed much to the loss of these prime marshlands. The dynamic nature of this ever-changing landscape makes Blackwater quite the busy place to manage. I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to work and give my help on quite a few different projects. I spent a few quiet days proofreading data for the aerial waterfowl project. Now it wasn't the most invigorating of work, but I had good guidance and it is important to ensure that our data was sound. I also found myself in the forest a few times helping with the timber stand inventory project. We took photos of timber stands to monitor changes in the vegetation and habitat of places disturbed by harvesting operations. Another project was the continuous forest inventory. Chelsea Lopez, Chelsea Gilliland, and I trudged through many thickets of Phragmites and trifled the advances of hordes of mosquitoes to gather data on the operability of forest plots for timber stand improvement projects and to monitor habitat changes. I want to thank Chelsea Lopez for gracing me with her knowledge of the oaks, maples, and pines. But one of my favorite and most memorable moments here was helping out with the colonial waterbird surveys at Smith Island. I got to do a few gold nest counts myself and help with some aerial estimates. Smith Island is a magical place and my experience there has definitely inspired me to seek to learn more about birds. And of course I can't forget to mention the adaptive management project. Now this was the big project of the summer. We used RTK Global Navigation Satellite System technology to gather precise spatial data on elevation in the marsh and burned and non-burned areas. Out at Blackwater, gathering data on marsh elevation. This is my partner Chelsea. Say hi. Hello. Hi. This is our rover. It's very expensive. I've got a data collector right there. Go about half a meter, try to get the bubble, check, Collecting. check, Collecting. check, Collecting. and that's how it's done. Our data will be used to monitor marsh surface elevation changes over time and help to better plan against marsh loss. Now plowing through the marsh can be arduous work, Woo! and sometimes it got pretty hot too, but it was always interesting. Uh, no biggie. No problem. Do you think that's nesting material? Um, I think it's the leftover mattress, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. But whatever's up there, I would really wish I could see it, but I ain't going in there. Yeah. Uh, well, if it was barn owls, we would hear them. Because they would have mm -hmm. already started going. And they're making their horrible sounds. What do they do? I 
can't do it. <laughs> now, I also got to go ban some brown pelicans at Holland Island, which was an absolutely amazing experience. These pelican nestlings were pretty gnarly looking creatures, but they had me smiling all day. This summer, there were so many things that inspired wonder and so many things I knew absolutely nothing about. My time here at Blackwater has truly been an immense learning experience. There were so many instances where equipment failed to service properly or things just didn't go according to plan, which leads me to some advice for future CDI peers. Always keep a positive mental attitude. Although some things may go wrong, your reactions will always reflect and face the limitations of your state of mind. Anyways, from the bottom of my heart, I believe the Fish and Wildlife Service is a special and meaningful member to conservation, and I hope I may join them one day in protecting nature's mystery and grandeur. I also wanted to thank Chelsea Gilliland and Tim Friday for teaching me all about birds. Juan Carlos for being an amazing mentor. Amanda Besler for her warmth and guidance. Matt Whitbeck for his wisdom and patience and the rest of the Blackwater staff for their support and trust. I will always remember the summer I spent at this enchanted place. Thank you. Did I record? I'm recording. Yeah, I'm oh, recording. Are you? <laughs> okay. <laughs>